Well, we've got some weather to talk about. We'll get right into it. An excessive heat warning continues until Friday early evening. This much heat affects anyone without hydration and access to cooling. Highs above 105, more than 5 degrees above average for September. Elevated heat impacts are possible through Saturday. I was looking at some of the behind the scenes heat risk products the Weather Service uses to issue these heat warnings. Wouldn't be shocked if that was pushed until Saturday. Limit time outside in the heat, especially 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. when it's hottest. Hydrate with water and sports drinks. My kiddos will love that to replace electrolytes if you're outside. Not a doctor, but it sounds like a doctor thing to say. Seek shade and better yet, take breaks in the air conditioning. I mean, we've got triple digits in the forecast for the next 10 days. And by the way, if these numbers pan out Wednesday of next week, uh, which is September 11th, uh, that would be our 101st total day this year in the triple digits, and that would set a new record for most such days. So yes, the heat has been off the charts uh, this year in intensity as well as duration. A little bit of light wildfire smoke is possible today as well as at times on Friday. Would be light, but a little bit of a smoky haze from some distant wildfires across the west. Some sun, otherwise it is breezy this morning. Some 10 mile per hour steady winds, 15, 20 mile per hour gusts. It's a little more breeze than we've had lately. But the big deal, it's still warm out there. 80s this morning, sizzling this afternoon, up around 106, 107. Kiddos, if they've got ball practice later this afternoon, make sure they are uh, drinking plenty of water. Temperatures will be around 102 at 7 p.m. just before sunset. Heat warning tomorrow. The humidity goes up Saturday, Sunday, so even though the temperature drops, it feels about the same. There will be a 20% chance of a stray storm across the weekend. A new sportsbook in 